Hey gang, Amy here, and I am coming at you with a new video series. I know I just started another new series on Tuesdays, but you can never have too many YouTube video series in my book. So this one is especially near and dear to my heart. I have for a while now been wanting to start a video series on confidence. And so I am launching this series and calling it The Big Girl's Guide to Confidence. By way of quick introduction, if you're not already familiar with who I am, I do have an online blog, a plus-sized fashion blog called Fatterday Night Live. I also run a plus-size store online called The Look Plus. That's why you see all these clothes on this rack behind me. So that's who I am. I have been a big girl my whole life. Not quite as big as I am now, like when I was in high school, but always taller than the other girls, bigger than the other girls. And people will often comment on my confidence, um, whether it's just, you know, admiration, how are you so confident, uh, I want to be confident like that. Sometimes it seems a little bit like a backhanded compliment. Wow, you're really confident. And then what they don't say is, for a big girl. Okay, but whatever the reason, it's something that... Um, I think I've had since I was younger and now that I'm older and I see how many people struggle with this very thing I really I thought to myself if I could come up with a way to pinpoint where this confidence comes from and really help others gain that same kind of self-assuredness wouldn't that be a great thing and so that's what I'm hoping to do with this video series and I'm gonna try to make it little bite-sized chunks of information not go on forever which I have been known to do so let's just get going. Let's get started with this whole, the big girl's guide to confidence, how to be more confident. What's wrong with being, what's wrong with being, what's wrong with being confident? What's wrong with being, what's wrong with being, what's wrong with being confident? It's time to get the change out. That was cheesy, but whatever today had a very specific topic in mind. Confidence killers. One confidence killer in particular. So here's what led up to this whole thought process. I work part-time as an office manager for a cheer and tumbling gym. And this weekend we had a like a showcase competition thing that I had to work. As a girl who is five foot ten and <clears throat> not even comfortable saying her weight on camera, but a big girl, heavy, overweight. I'm substantial, okay? And I was at this cheer competition and it was like I was just towering over everybody and nothing will kill your confidence more than being around a bunch of teeny tiny cute as a button little cheerleaders. A gazillion of them everywhere in their sparkly little outfits with their makeup and their big ginormous hair. Oh, can we talk about the hair? Whoa. Anyway, Total confidence killer. Like, y'all, I came to terms with who I am a long time ago, and I am a pretty confident woman. But I tell you what, all those girls milling about, yeah, it did a number. And so it got me to thinking about what are confidence killers? Why would, it, would an otherwise confident girl suddenly not feel so self-assured? It's simple. Comparison. That, to me, is the biggest confidence killer comparison. And we're all so guilty of it. We all do it. We look at other people, even if even if we have, like myself, accepted who we are, we easily get sucked into this trap of looking at others and going, oh, well, but I don't have that. I have a double chin. She doesn't. I wish I were petite like her, or I wish I had, you know, that beautiful, thick, long hair like her, which is probably extensions. You know, whatever it is, we compare and it is such a killer for our confidence. So as I was laying in bed last night, I had this weird thought and you're, you're either going to think that's so strange. What is wrong with this girl? Or you're going to think that makes the most sense that anything has ever made. I'm hoping it's the latter, but I had this thought, this kind of, um, I'm going to offer up this verbal illustration for lack of a better phrase. I'm guessing that the majority of you watching this have at some point in your life seen a Disney movie. In fact, you've probably seen several of them. I grew up on them, okay? So we're all familiar, I'm assuming, with our Disney princesses. I was laying in bed and I was thinking, <clears throat> comparing ourselves to others and feeling bad about who we are based on 
who they are and what they have that we don't, so on and so forth. This would be the equivalent of Belle thinking in her little cartoon brain, gee, I'm okay and all, but man, I really wish that I looked like Princess Jasmine or had Ariel's hair. Okay, and I know you're, you're probably rolling your eyes because you're like, that's absurd and what the heck is she talking about? What I'm talking about is that makes no sense, first of all, because I'm talking about cartoons. But second of all, because Belle is the star of her story. She's not worried about Princess Jasmine. She's not worried about Ariel's hair or, you know, her drama. Belle is the star of her story. So think about that. You are the star of your story. I'm the star of my story. And as such, now I'm not a princess, but as such, we shouldn't be worried about other people and we shouldn't be comparing ourselves to them. That's not our story. They're the star of their story, but we're not. And they're not the star of our story. How many times can I say star of our story? You get what I'm saying? Like when you put it like that, it seems so ridiculous. Again, because I'm talking about cartoons as if they were real, but it gets the point across. That Disney princess is not worried about some other Disney princess. She probably doesn't even know she exists. Now, I'm not saying pretend no one else exists. And consequently, I'm not saying act like a diva. I'm just saying if we could go through life remembering that we are the star of our own story and that it makes no sense to compare to other people, I think that would do a lot of good in the area of confidence. I think it would help us remember I don't need to be like them because I'm not them. And besides, if every Disney movie had the exact same princess, how boring would that be? Diversity, uniqueness, that's what makes the world go round, man. Celebrate it. Who cares that I have a double chin and she doesn't? I'm going to rock this double chin because it's part of me. It's part of my story. Like I said, that may have made no sense to you or it may have been the dumbest thing you've ever heard. But I'm willing to bet that there are a couple of you that are like, she's right. I am the star of my story. I'm going to go out and I'm going to do me. And I'm not going to worry about everybody else. I hope you get to that point because it makes a huge difference in your confidence level and just having a happy life. That's all I have for you today. That was the only thing I wanted to say. I just wanted to talk about that little confidence killer called comparison. And I will be back next Wednesday with something else on the topic of confidence. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Um, the more you do that, the more other people can find this. And I can, you know, one subscriber at a time, help the world be more confident. Maybe. Bye, guys.